Hey everyone, welcome to my studio. I'm gonna start this week by working on this St. Matthew mosaic. And if you're just joining me, I wanna say that this is a commission for a church and it is one of four 16 inch by 16 inch panels that are going on the outside of a building. So I'm using waterproof materials, thin set, Latte Creek 254, Platinum thin set is my adhesive and they want stained glass and I have a little bit of gold in there. But I am going to uh, start to tackle this uh, red here in his garment and uh, a little bit of blue because I think when I cut this, I'm gonna cut, I don't wanna notch that part out. So I'm gonna add the blue there and cut this way. That's it. I also have these three sunflower mosaics in various stages of completion. And I have some exhibit opportunities coming up and I would really like to uh, do a push on these and, and get these in uh, with the next exhibit. That's it. I'm going to start the red garment with uh, some strips from several different shades of red glass that I have. So I just cut one strip from each piece. So I have several different to choose from. I'm going to do is loosely cover this and that is because I'm messy and shards of glass go everywhere and I just don't want to have them in there where I need to clean them out. Uh, the second thing is that I've created a gradation of reds here and this one right here is all the same piece of glass but I've broken it up because it actually gets quite light in there and so while this part might be there this part might be somewhere over here. It's a little bit, it starts to get muddy and brownish, uh, but that's sort of interesting, so I might use it. But this this is the uh, bulk of the glass that I will be using. This super, super dark one is so gorgeous. I'm just going to be using it right around here, and I've already cut the first piece right there. I haven't glued it down yet, though. That's it. Laying in these next few pieces that come around next to this piece, uh, it is very critical to make sure that the thin set adheres the pieces that I put down, but does not come over and touch this part or else I won't be able to get it apart. So what I will be doing is I will be putting it a little bit over on this side and then pushing the pieces into place that way towards there so that the thin set does not touch. And then before it can set up, I will again lift this piece out of the way just to make sure that it did not get connected through the thin set that I've just laid. That's it.
pause here and point out that um, there is a red line here and there is a line here because I this is my design and I changed it uh, to this line here so that it would be more centered. Um, it was a little bit too far to the right. And uh, anyway, so this is the new shoulder line here. That's it. a push to get that garment finished. I have a meeting at the church and I think I'm going to bring this in my car in case they want to see it. I can put it in the back and they can take a look at it. Um, anyway, it, it really, they want to add color to the outside of the building and that is really adding color. I can't wait to put the sky in because that's going to be the next punch of color. I'm going to work on this sunflower and I am using Weld Bond adhesive that I put in a Wilton icing bottle and sometimes I use it directly from the bottle and sometimes I put it on uh, this index card and then I dip it in there just depending sometimes I put the glue on here that's what I've been doing is putting the glue on here and then putting the pieces in that just depends on what mood I'm in that's it <laughs> Two down, one to go. I've got the red one. This one was mostly orange, and this one will mostly be yellow. With some very dark, dark, yellowy, maybe slightly orange pieces in there. That's it.
so here are all three. I finished them. This one has a little bit of red tint to the beads. I wanna get in close because I don't think you can see that red uh, when I pull back. And here's the last one. I just love how they're each a little bit different. They have their own personalities. And I don't even remember the varieties. These were from my garden, from photos that I took of flowers that I grew in my garden. So I'll have to look and see uh, what the varieties of sunflowers were that I grew last year, but that's it. That's putting it together. Thanks so much for watching. See you next time. Just going through my seeds. These are the ones I found. I grew Velvet Queen, Cutting Gold, Jerusalem Gold Hybrid, and Autumn Beauty. So I know one of them is probably the Autumn Beauty. And the one that's really yellow is probably this Jerusalem Gold. And then I guess, I don't know, maybe there's two of these? Anyway, that's where my starting point was, these seeds. This might be it. Jerusalem Gold, Autumn Beauty, Velvet Queen.